Hey everyone, it's Dr. Batat with Oracle Hearing Center. Uh, I thought I'd reach out to you today to share with you some soft signs of hearing loss. Um, some people have reached out to me and asked me, well, you know, I think my parent or my grandparent um, is having some trouble. What do you think? Um, obviously, it's great to get a hearing test. That is your starting point. But if you ever were wondering what I look for in a case history, um, here are some soft signs. One of the first ones is um, this person who you may be living with is asking you constantly to repeat yourself, uh, no matter where you are. And I'm not talking about uh, from across a room, uh, talking to them from across a room. I'm talking about at close proximity. They're um, asking you uh, repeatedly to uh, repeat what you just said. Um, another sign is that when you are watching TV with them, you notice that the volume is turned all the way up to the point where it's not very tolerable for you. Um, or if you're visiting a grandparent or a parent, you walk in and the first thing you notice, um, maybe even from outside of the house, is that the TV is really, really loud. Um, so that is another sign. Um, people with hearing loss will often say, I heard what you said, but I can't quite make sense of it. It seems that they're having some trouble processing the sound, uh, the, uh, the, the words, or you know, it, it comes to them a little bit um, with a time delay. That's also another sign that there's been a prolonged time where they haven't been hearing. So it's taking more effort to make sense of what's being said. Um, they may also notice that soft or whispered speech is difficult to hear. Um, hearing children uh, with high, who typically have higher pitched voices may be difficult as well. Um, you may also notice that they have a preference for getting together with you in quiet environments as opposed to um, noisy restaurants or family gatherings. Um, those noisy environments, background noise is challenging for them to single out a voice um, in a group of people. Um, another sign is that it's easier for them. They say, it's easier for me to talk to you when you're turned and facing me. So they're relying more on visual cues to get everything that's being said. I mean, we all do to a certain extent, but that's becoming more and more important for them. They may tell you that their ears feel full or that like they're hearing underwater or they feel that they're, they're hearing in a hollow sort of manner. Um, that's a sign that they need to get their ears checked out and their hearing as well. Um, you may also notice that hearing at a distance is more challenging for them. So those are a couple of signs, some soft signs that I look for in a case history, um, some indications that there's, there's some trouble with the hearing and, and that they do need to get their hearing checked. Uh, if there's anything we can help you with, we're here, we're open. Um, please share widely. I think it's important for people to know and to realize um, what are some things we may be living with and dealing with and not even knowing um, that, that are causing uh, trouble with the hearing. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We're here. Take care.